I think I should do this segment. <laughs> <laughs> you you Dr. did volunteer. Yes, Dr. Mandy Walia is here. She has a wellness center in San Diego. She's also a chiropractor, and we're going to go over five things that you should do to start at least trying to lose that belly fat. Because it's a problem for many people, men and women, right? That's right. And the first way to lose that impossible belly fat is actually to eat more. That's right. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now we're, you got everybody's attention. Yeah. So it's the quality of the food that matters, not the quantity. Okay. Okay. We are so used to looking at healthy fats as well as vegetables as a side dish, but really we need to switch that around and start looking at that as a main dish. Ah, okay. Start filling up your plate with non-starchy vegetables such mm -hmm. as sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. green or cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower, broccoli, butternut squash, avocados, mm. as well as a lot of, I mean, any and all combination of different vegetables. Okay. Uh, so 50 to 75 percent of your plate should be filled with cooked vegetables mm -hmm. along with healthy fats such as avocados, coconut oil, avocado oil, or healthy nuts. Okay. And start looking at proteins or meats as actually a side dish. Gotcha. Switch your thinking, right? That's right. Okay, number two. Number two is the way I absolutely love. It's intermittent fasting. You lose like Oh, this. Cody right. Stark. Absolutely right. love it. Yes. Yeah. And it's actually free. So depending on how much weight you have to lose, you can actually do this every single day. Okay. It's simply just a matter of restricting your eating window to eight hours. Okay. Uh, three to four times a week once you res uh, reach your health goal of like what your goal weight should be. Right. And it actually decreases your hunger hormones. It actually also decreases your sugar cravings. Okay. And gives you more energy and you get to sleep better. So it has so many other benefits Except as well. Except for the sleep. It does all those things. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, got about a minute left. All right. And the third way to lose that impossible belly fat mm -hmm. is actually to reseed healthy bacteria in your gut. How do we do that? You can uh, use some traditionally prepared fermented foods such as kefir. Mm -hmm. The only thing to make sure is that it's unsweetened. Ah and pollution, pesticides, processed foods are killing off healthy bacteria and we need about 85% of that health bacteria in your gut should be healthy. Okay. The fourth way yes. is to actually detox your liver in order to lose that impossible belly fat. And that we do with this. That's right. Before you recognize this. That's yes. my thing. Apple cider vinegar. Every and morning. Every morning or you can do it at bed. Straight or with the water. I would put it in a little bit of warm water, half cup, one to two tablespoons. Okay. And the fifth way to lose that impossible belly fat is to optimize your vitamin D levels. So vitamin D actually acts as a sensor in your body. So when vitamin D levels are low, it signals the body to store more fat ah. for energy in mm -hmm. times of need. Mm -hmm. So the best way is to get your levels checked and then depending on if you're deficient, take a good healthy vitamin of vitamin D, okay. 2,000 to 5,000 I use every day. There you go. Dr. Mandy, everybody, here are some ways to think about, some items to think about too to get rid of that belly fat in your book. will be on sale soon. That's right. It's in the print version. I'm getting printed right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Right, back to you. Thanks, guys.